BZ, what's going on, y'all? This your boy BZ from Extreme Sports Hub 305. The Kansas City Chiefs don't want a Super Bowl. Again. Yes, again. They done beat the 49ers. Now, the Kansas City Chiefs actually is here. They have been underdogs since the playoffs started. It was underdogs against the Buffalo Bills. It was underdogs against the, against the Baltimore Ravens. And in the Super Bowl, it was underdogs against the San Francisco 49ers. Why? The offense. You, the receivers have been dropping balls the whole season. Patrick Mahomes been throwing interceptions. Little Travis Kelsey, little bit old. But when it came to the playoffs, they ain't dropped no balls at all. Tony didn't even play it down in the playoffs. They ain't give him no chance. They ain't talking about he was hurt. He wasn't hurt. Yeah. Andy Reid, the Chiefs, yeah, he was hurt. He was tired of hurting the team. That's why he wasn't playing. Come on, we seen it. It's cool. We already know the deal. Just keep your mouth shut. He was at a Super Bowl. He was working out. That's it. But he still was hurt. They won't give him no chance to play in the Super Bowl. You know the deal. So, the Super Bowl gets here, and the game goes on. So, they they probably in the first half, they couldn't they can't get nothing going on. They couldn't get nothing going on. They down 10 zip. But, hey, we know that as long as you got Patrick Mahomes, you still in the game. So, for you to beat them people, you're going to have to put some more points up. The 49ers didn't do that. So come the fourth quarter here, you go to they second after the second half, they was ready. Well, I mean they was ready. They couldn't do that the first half. But once you got Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, they gonna find a way. They get open. You can't give them that many chances, man. You really can't. Because you give Patrick Mahomes the last drive, and y'all seen the Super Bowl. Y'all saw what's gonna happen. It's tough. Because you, you get tired of the Chiefs, you want to see somebody else, but this man think he keep acting like he's Jordan and LeBron, blocking everybody else to get championships. I'm so sick and tired of being sick and tired, but this man, he keep winning. Yeah, he, he winning. But I'm going to put the Chiefs on hold. I'm going to come back to the Chiefs. But let me talk about the San Francisco 49ers, because uh, as far as the 49ers, they had the best team, the best players. They was favorite. They was up 10, they was up 10 zip. When it was 7-3, I mean, they were stopping everybody. For the first drive, second drive, third drive, he's couldn't do nothing. Greenlaw on every play. The, uh, the Greenlaw, the, the D-line, the other linebacker, Fred one, they on every down, every screen, every bubble, every hitch. Four nights couldn't do, I mean, the Chiefs couldn't do nothing at all. But it, what happened? Some people got too excited, second, almost going to the second quarter. I mean, I mean, too excited. Like Greenlaw, How you tell me this. You tore your Achilles by being too excited. Man, this is a Super Bowl. This ain't Disney World. You're supposed to be motivated. You're supposed to be locked in. You jumping up here. You, if you got to hype yourself up to get ready, and you up there, you tore yourself up just by jumping up. Come on, man. Green law. That's the wrong law. You, you ain't going to pass this one, man. Now you out for the whole game. Now when I want you out for the whole game, everything changed. Patrick Holmes, he realized that early. Hey, 57's out. He's out. Now once he's out, look at his chops. You put the backup in. You can't have the backup in the Super Bowl. Think he the same as Greenlaw? Man, damn. What happened that everything start going, start, start clicking? So I mean, he was. I mean, I mean the four nine was just dropping like flies. Greenlaw dropped like flies. Debo, Debo. Y'all gonna stop calling the man Debo? When I, when I hear Debo, I, I think of Friday. When I mean Friday, Debo is a, a bully, a muscle. I mean, he muscle everything. Get out my way. Get, just give me the ball. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Man, T Bo, I mean, as soon as he got hit, as soon as he done got it straight, he couldn't get open. What I mean, that man had that man on lockdown. A con. <sighs> Won't let me out. I'm locked up. I mean, he was locked up for real. He couldn't get no separation. He ain't look swole. They hit that man one time and he was he got hurt too. But you ain't tired of that man getting hurt. How your name is D Bo, but you heard every year. D Bo, that's just how kind of soft to me. I'm sorry. Because in the beginning of the season, he up there texting the coach every, um, every second, look how swole I am, look how big I am. But you heard every second. And what happened? McDuffie, put the handcuffs on you, man. I was like, it was, it looked as slow that I thought it was, man. Oh, my gosh. He, McDuffie looked like he was one of the best corners out in the league, like a barbecue chicken. Tebow couldn't say nothing to him. But I'm just, he couldn't get open. So that was that, that was dead. In the fourth quarter, four nines, I understand. I think people get hurt. Brock Purdy, he missed some throws. I understand that because I – Cam say game manager. I still believe it. But how, how in the world are you? You got the number two. You want to say number one, number two. Best he tackle in the league. You don't block him. Because if you block him, you got your best receiver. Are you wide open? I mean, he made Sneed look silly. He wide open with his hands up. I mean, butt naked. Just hopped in the shower. He ain't got the towel on the water. This game was hot. Hot. But you don't throw it to him because you. Now, nah, listen. 
the O line is right in front of Chris Jones. You telling me you rather block the the D N than Chris Jones, the Big Bad Wolf? Come on, man! He came in straight free. Brock Purdy couldn't even see, just threw the ball away so fast. He, he missed the whole touchdown, man. I don't know if he had contacts in or he didn't have no contacts and he couldn't see. Don't think he's in with the big big man with the red suit. I don't know if he thought it was Santa Claus or whoever was, or Big Red. He couldn't see nothing. But if he would have saw something, he would have saw that touchdown in the end zone, but he couldn't see. I like the, the, the mistakes they have in here, the 15 yards here, they acting crazy. And they acting, you acting like, you no know, offense my team, but Ray was undisciplined. I saw 15 yards here, you're not paying attention here. And then you go to overtime, and you win the toss. Now, I don't know if y'all seen the preview here. So the Chiefs on the side of the are talking about, okay, which way are we going to kick it? Because we know, if, because since they are the home team, they're they, they going to choose which way. So they're assuming they're going to be on defense first. So which way are we going to kick it? This boy here said that once they tried to go over the court, he talks. He said he wanted to receive. I don't know. Some people ain't too bright. Why would you receive the ball first? Because if, if you receive the ball first, and you only get three here, and they get seven games, it's over. You, I don't want to say got dumb you ain't smart or something ain't too bright. But I forgot. Who's the coach? Shanahan. Shanahan, this is your third time messing up with Shanahan. Listen here. Your third time. Atlanta, when you blew that league as the Patriots, I'm sorry. I, I'm, you keep getting jobs. I don't, I don't understand. But you did Atlanta. You played the Chiefs. Three years ago, uh, yeah, three years ago, and you was up huge in the first half. And you did the same thing this year. You're playing three quarters. Football is four quarters. Now you come here, this game overtime, and what happened? Now you couldn't get seven, you get three points, and now you get the ball to Patrick Mahomes. Once, once I see you got three, you get the ball to Patrick Mahomes, I said, oh, this game is old. Barbecue chicken. I mean, that man drove 80 yards here like, like it was easy because he figured – Cause he has it. I mean, a gift. He figures out like this. Brock Purdy, when Cam say you're a game manager, to get above the game manager, that means game manager. When it comes to big games, you find your way out the big game manager, and you go, you stand your level to another level. You couldn't do that. But Patrick Mahomes, you gave him, you gave him too much time on the clock. He had a whole possession. So now, when you get, they go drive down, and you know what play they call when you get to the goal line. The same play that they won the game last year Super against the Philadelphia Eagles. They want to call it, you know, they, they, when, you, when you call a play in the huddle, it's long. So it, it, but it, it, the main word when you hear is Tom and Jerry. That's they have different names. We call it Tom and Jerry. When he Tom and Jerry, he the first, the basically the first option for the Chiefs route here as a receiver. He goes in, in motion and you think, you think he's a man you're tied in. Shout because he's offset. He's not on. He's off. And the next option is running back. So when he goes in motion. So you see if you made him if you follow. So basically he didn't follow. Basically he hide behind the tight end and whips right back and forth. They say he hikes while he motion. So what happened? He goes in, but he comes out, Mahomes roll out. Woo! Touchdown Hartman. I mean he said he closed his eyes when he scored because he couldn't believe how open he was. But once he scored a touchdown, I'm like, I'm not surprised he did it again. But what surprised me is the next day when it, when the coach and the players say I didn't know the overtime rules. But you go to the Super Bowl. That means the coach here, you as a coach, you must have your team ready. Overtime rules. For those who, who know the overtime rules who don't know the overtime rules, what that means is in overtime, you cannot end the game on a tie. So this is why people say, I'd rather have the ball last. Because you always want to be chasing. Because if you have the ball last, that means if they score, if they score seven, a touchdown, I got a chance to get seven two and tie it up so we keep playing. But if you get three. And I get seven? Yes. <laughs> Dead. Flies everywhere. Bye-bye. Game over. You can go cry. I don't care if you go cry on the sidewalk. Go cry in the car. Switch arms. That's your fault. This is why you go. You Because the only way, if you feel your trust to go get the ball first and, and you go get seven, that means you feel your defense is elite. Because Patrick Mahomes drove 80 yards. All you, had to do, you got three. All you had to do is get one stop. But come on, man. When you go against Patrick Mahomes, it's hard. I mean, it's hard. That man turned to a genius all of a sudden. Yeah, man, you got to play extra hard. But that's the difference between Tom Brady, I mean, Patrick Mahomes, Brock Purdy, Shanahan, and the big red coach here, Andy Reid. That's why you're supposed to go against. Now, that's crazy. Now, they win they, they win they second two bowl back-to-back. -back. <clears throat> they talking about third. They don't have, the, they don't have the, a parade. 
in Kansas City going crazy. Now, they up there shooting up the parade. People up there going to the hospital, kids going in there. So now, nowadays, if you have a parade, you have to go to the parade with a bulletproof vest on and you want to celebrate. You got to have a vest on so you don't hope nothing going on. Now, trust me, if that happen again, there gonna be, ain't going to be no more parades going on no more. They're going to have a parade. If they do have a parade, it's going to be inside the stadium so they have more aware of what's going on. Beep, 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 beep. You're going to find out what's got, what's got going on so they go to new habits again. Now, we go to the offseason here. If, if I want to start with, with the um, with the, uh, the 49ers, is you gonna bring back IU? You gonna have to pay that man. If I'm IU, I'm not going over there. I'm gonna get that bag. Cause you your best receiver, your best route runner, only got three targets. And one target, he was wide open because Brock Purdy couldn't give it to him. And he only got three targets. You know why? Because he's the third or fourth option. One option, you got Christian McCaffrey. Second, you got Debo. Third, you got Kittle. And then him, IU, when he's the best route runner receiver you have. Come on. You're paying Debo all, all this money in the first job of the Super, he wasn't in the game. Come on, right? Hey. So imagine if Brandon IU goes to the Cincinnati Bengals, Buffalo Bills, the Kansas City Chiefs, he's gonna get paid and he's gonna get more targets. Come on, man. If I'm Brandon IU, I'm gonna go. I can, I can go from Brock Purdy. We'll give him a running back about 30 carries a game. Or I can go to a pass office a game, but I can get about two, about about eight, eight to ten catches a game. How that sound? Ain't get my money. Come on, man. Stop playing. You see his brother in there already already tweeted here. Come on. This is the reason he get three targets, but you the best receiver. He talking about already to my tweet about leaving. Come on, man. I don't blame him. You gotta go, you gotta go. You ain't gonna pay him. Go. Go get your money. So you you, you gotta sign him. You're gonna bring back Chase Young. And you have a few others you wanna bring back. So the fun out, they already in contact, but they're gonna lose some people. Now the Kansas City Chiefs. Them people won with no receiver. Come on, yeah, Rice, he was upcoming. Come on. But they gotta pay Chris Jones. And then one year, I think he they'll, I think they'll pay him. He wants to be he, he wants to be there and they'll pay him. But you gotta pay Sneed. Sneed was he is a young lockdown corner. You see what he did to Tyree Hill? He jammed that man to the sleep in the cold out there, man. Oh my god. He did I don't know, he, he he did a good number on the ball to the Ravens. And the Super Bowl, he made he was a Brandon now you. Brandon now you only got three catches, but Brandon now you did a good job. But he didn't, he didn't just get the targets. That's it's not his fault. But Sneed, you don't have to get that bag. I gotta give it to him because him and McDuffie, that's a young duo, man. And if we save some money, if they get another ride right receiver, the Chiefs could be better this this year coming than it was last year. And that's even scarier. Oh my gosh, man. So that's just how it is, man. It's tough. At the end of the day. If you're going against the elite quarterback here, and it's a Super Bowl, and you're up 10 zip, it's a mind thing. Just act, just act like you're down, because you're going to need some more points. Plain and simple. Stop waiting and, 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 and you wait till the last minute and, and think you got this. And then it's four quarters, not three quarters. Shouldn't have had, had, he done been here before, I think he learned his lesson. I don't think he, don't think he learned anything. This is your third time. So now, Shanahan don't want to take the blame, so what he do? He fires his, his defensive coordinator. So I'm going to fire the DC and get somebody else. You ain't fire him during the season. You ain't fire him. You ain't doing the regular season, the playoff. But you want to fire him after the Super Bowl because you want to have somebody to blame. The man, do I, do I think he deserved to get fired? It, it, you brought your team to the Super Bowl. Your defense did a good job enough. I don't understand. You had a bad run. I mean, you was ranked number 30 in, in run defense. But it still was, and you still had a top defense, a top five defense to take you to the Super Bowl. Come on, it's like, nah, you want to play? Come on. Take accountability, man. Because, come on, man. I understand. You, you, Shane Head, you so used to be in second place. You lost your third straight Super Bowl. I know the goal is to get there, but you got to win it one of them times. Come on. It's the offseason, y'all. Free agency starts March 13th. But some players have to be re signed by next week. Before March, before March 13th. So if you ain't, your players not re-signed by next week, the, the moral of the story, do not let your players hit free agent. Because if he not signed by next week, well, majority of the time they go to free agent, they gone. Because somebody will bring up that checkbook and you're you going to have to write something you can't cash. And you got the in. Bye-bye. So if you want them on your team, you don't want them, if you don't want your player to go, pay that man now. Plain and simple. As me, as a Baltimore Ravens fan, pay Justin Medibike now, please.
I don't want him hit, hit the free agency. But if he hit free agency, somebody gonna have like it always be them bad teams who got enough money m m more than you, and you and, and they they don't care. They gonna they going for that money. I don't blame them. Don't get the money, but man, I'm a, it's tough. Pay your players ahead of time. Don't let me hit free agency. If you had in free agency, yeah, it's free. It's black history, but yeah, it's free. They gonna be gone. And the story so that's gonna be in the football. Until free agency come up from, on March 13th, I'm going to get back at that. But right now, this weekend is the All-Star game. It's All-Star weekend this weekend coming up. I'm a huge Stephen Curry fan. He going against that girl. He is. She She's a top shooter, too. I hope she wins. This playoff here is uh, the All-Star break. They're going to see Mike Epps and Shannon Shaw. They've been going at it back and forth. I hope they, they, they resolve their issue. East and West. My team is always in the West. I'm going to go for the West. But... It's going to talk a lot more basketball, baby. It's going basketball. Uh, you're going to see more basketball talking about it. You're going to see uh, more boxing going on. Woo! More boxing. I'm going to keep it updated. Y'all go ahead and subscribe on Street Sports Talk 305 on YouTube. Also, you can um, on Facebook, Street Sports Talk 305. And you have Twitter, IG, and Street Sports Talk Live 305. And tune in, man. It's going down. Be easy.